This is Dave D1963. Real quick update on my trailer modification. Uh, got all the paneling down and finally insulated everything and insulated the roof. I'm gonna get some spray foam and fill up in these crevices and stuff. Uh, gonna build a box to kind of hide that spring. But uh, one of the things I did when, when I bought this trailer, there was a gap in between these panels, kind of similar to this right here, only it was a little bit larger than this. So what I've done is I've bumped all this down to create a solid wall. And I left this gap here because I'm going to take these slats, these one inch slats, run them across the ceiling like everyone does. And I'm going to add it. Oops, sorry about that additional insulation on the roof. But that's going to leave me a good gap on both sides to run my wiring. Because one of the things I want to be able to do is to make adjustments as I go and, and maybe add electrical components and stuff. And if you put that behind these walls, it's, it would be a pain in the butt to have to pull that out every time and do that. So by removing trim, I'm going to be able to access my wire. So that's what I've got going on right now. Uh, this here piece, for some reason, was short. So I'm going to get another piece of wafer board and fix that but uh that's where i'm at i went ahead and ordered today i'm going to put some old white washed barn wood paneling up on the walls is what's going to be my exterior i've got some uh linoleum coming in for the floor and i think i'm going to go with some kind of beadboard and probably paint it white for that uh what i'm getting ready to start doing now my next step is to finish up the walls of course and then to once again start building my cabinets in here you can kind of see where i've laid it out now one of the things this is going to be a hunting trailer for me and sometimes i'll have my daughter and sometimes i won't so i'm going to have my bed's going to be on this side that will be a partial fold down bed hers will be on this side and it'll be a full uh fold down bed and then there'll be cabinets and stuff up top there. But one of the things I want to do is I want to be able to carry a deep freezer in here so that if we kill something, you know, we can throw it in the deep freeze and keep it chilled while, while we're transporting it back because it gets kind of hot here in Texas. So that's one of the things that's going to go in here. Uh, then we're going to put in an air conditioner, a portable air conditioner. Uh, definitely going to have a heater. It is cold today. I don't know what's going on with Texas, but this is, it's cold today. Uh, and then I'm also going to start doing some of the lighting and stuff and figure out what I want to do as far as outlets and stuff like that. So I already ran one here. I'm going to run shore power for my regular 110 plugs. And then I'll probably go ahead and hook up a battery operated system for now but I'm, I'm gonna hold off on the solar i'll probably get to that a little bit later you know so i can charge my batteries off of solar but for right now i'll just bring my battery in uh, i've got a dakota lithium i think it's a 55 amp hour battery that i'll use to run you know my cpap my some of the lighting and stuff some of the smaller appliances but then like the deep freeze, the air conditioning unit and all that will go on shore power or I've got a new generator that I can run with that. So that's where I'm at. It's coming along, uh, not as fast as I like, but you know, <laughs> there's a lot to do on these things. And uh, finding the time to do it while I'm trying to scout and everything is kind of challenging, but we'll get there. We'll definitely have it ready by this hunting season. I've already got... The paneling ordered, that's coming in. The flooring's already bought and in the shop. Uh, I've got to get the bead board for this. I'm going to, I've got all the one by twos to go ahead and start bracing out this ceiling so that I can put additional insulation in here. I'm not going to pull up the floor and insulate under the floor. Uh, maybe if I lived up north, I might consider doing that, but I just, I'm not going to do that. I am going to put in a fan. Uh, I've got a window to put into the door. And then I'm, I'm debating on how many windows I want to put in here. I might put one window on this side here. Uh, I don't want to put too many windows in here because, once again, this is a, a hunting trailer. And I don't want people being able to look in here and see what's going on and stuff. So, anyway, 
my plan is we'll probably park this in an RV park and, and leave it out there for most of the season. And then, you know, if I go on other trips, I'll just go over to the RV park, pick it up and go out. I'm not going to put a bathroom in here or that my plan is not to put a bathroom in here. And, you know, I'm going to use portable water as far as for drinking and stuff like that, because I just, I, I don't want to get into having water inside this and I don't use it that much. I, you know, most of the time I still use my truck camper. This is my plan. This will just be for some of my long trips or when I want to spend the weekend out somewhere having a place already set up. So that's where I'm at. Dave21963 out.